Hey guys, welcome back. Part three of my Resident Evil playthrough, and I'm gonna play a little crazy here. Um, so we're on our way to go get the shoddy bow body, and I, you know, I just figured, you know, screw it, why not? I'm just gonna go put this handgun away. <laughs> and um, we're gonna play uh, Balls to the Walls here. Uh, Blood and Guts, Resident Evil. Because directly after that, we're going to have the shotgun, and uh, we might as well go fight this sub-boss enemy. So, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to pull an herb out for that. So, to get the shotgun, as mentioned before, you need the broken shotgun. And since we're not Jill, we don't just automatically get it just because. Um, and, you know, Barry doesn't save us in this, this playthrough. Like, Rebecca's pretty much worthless other than healing you. So, what we're going to do... Take the truck over to this uh, little puzzle room over here, and you'll see why we need the shotgun, or the broken shotgun. I remember which room it is. That's the bathroom. Okay, so it's this room back here. So, again, you go through this random room here, and then uh, there's this, uh, like, a, I don't even know what this would be considered, like, a lounge. But, like, why would you want to come in here and hang out? Like, what's the point? It's, it's just like a coffee table and a couch. So, you can see that there's, um little prongs in the wall lift up when the shotgun is removed it's kind of like an indiana jones episode so what you do is you use the broken shotgun it will actually substitute for the shotgun itself so we're going to go ahead and equip the shotgun here and we're going to head upstairs to the other side of the mansion where we found richard richard's body now if you don't have the broken shotgun and you come out here this roof will start to collapse on you and will kill you. So just get this just get the shotgun. Okay? Just get it. Now with the shotgun, I've already grabbed a few bits of ammunition, so I'm doing pretty decent as far as ammo goes right now. I'm getting confused. There we go. So we're gonna head back upstairs, and like I said, we're gonna head over to Richard's body. And there's a sub-boss we have to fight to get the final piece to the crest puzzle. This crest will then allow us to exit the mansion, which we will do, and go to what's called as the guardhouse, which is like the second part of the game. If you really struggle with the mansion, which I've had not the worst time ever, you should be able to collect plenty of healing items, um, at least the shotgun. If you're, if you're Jill, you'll have a rocket launcher as well, cause, or a grenade launcher, just because why the fuck not? It's Jill. There's a few of these rooms here we've already taken care of. We're gonna go up here and use a key. I believe the shield key opens one door in the entire mansion, and it's this door we're about to use it on over here. And just for shits and giggles, I already grabbed all those herbs. I wasn't sure if I grabbed them earlier or not. There's some herbs there. If you forget to grab those, I'd recommend just grabbing them now because you're gonna need them. So as you can see, there's blood on the walls and stuff. I believe that uh, Richard would, was injured and kind of made his way down. So again, you use the shield key one time and discard it. So we'll go ahead and uh, go in here and check out uh, what got Richard. This room is creepy as shit, too. It's like this attic area. So as you can see, there's this giant fucking snake creature that comes out. gonna immediately take a fucking chunk out of it. Right away I'm poisoned. The thing
thing with the snake bite is um, he'll trap you over in this corner, this tail, and uh, get you stuck. So I'm just gonna YOLO use that uh, healing item. What's the matter? You've had enough? Huh? So if you put enough ammunition into its fucking face, the snake will actually retreat. It's kind of a coward. So you want to go over here to its little entrance hole cubby way, grab the uh, final crest, and as you can see on our inventory screen there, we're actually poisoned. That snake has venom, which is ultimately what killed Richard. So we're going to get to play as Rebecca now and uh, make our trek across the mansion to grab serum for Chris. Luckily we've... The game has the courtesy to pull the map up and show you where you need to go. Basically we're heading to the room where we met Rebecca originally. It's the safe room on the, um, the, the west side of the mansion itself. Okay, thanks game. And I don't know if there's really a time limit here for you because uh, I know with Kenneth, or sorry, with Richard, like if you're too slow, he'll just die anyway. And if you're too fast, he'll just die anyway. There's not really much of a um, difference. So we're gonna make a trek real quick. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, Chris, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just playing with this man's life. Luckily for me, I took care of most of the enemies in the mansion, so I really don't have to rely on Rebecca's handgun for anything. She basically has a standard issue stars Beretta, just like the rest of the cast does. So, essentially it's the same weapon, but she has no ammunition for it. She's probably the least prepared of the stars team. She doesn't even have an extra clip of ammunition or anything. I don't know if that's because she, you know, spent the resources to just make it alive into the mansion. That I don't know. I would assume based off of her um, her role with stars, which is basically to um, do mechanical maintenance on the helicopter and to be a vital member as far as like um, healing the team and making sure that they're medically taken care of. I wouldn't be surprised if she just has a handgun and really doesn't use it a whole lot in her um, field of occupancy or whatever. So. We're here at the save room already, and I call them save rooms because this is literally where you can save the game, and they have chests and things for this. Go over here to this shelf. If you inspect this shelf earlier, it'll tell you basically there's a bunch of, you know, umbrella pharmaceutical items on that shelf, which is kind of strange and out of place, but at the same time, you know, we're kind of thankful they're there because Rebecca can now come and get us the serum to save our life. So we're going to make the trek real quick back across to Chris, who luckily doesn't have the wounds that uh, Richard you know, has taken on. Luckily that zombie's kind of fucking pathetic. It's probably the this most disgraceful zombie of the entire bunch. They make fun of him in the cafeteria during lunch breaks, I assume, because he's, he can't even grab you. He's so fucking just disgustingly wretched. Um, we're gonna, I gotta remember, I took care of this one and not the other. So that other zombie over there, I just, used, like I said, I'll just avoid until the second part of the game. He gets replaced by these fun little creatures called hunters, and I'll explain them later. So we're running our fucking sprints across the mansion. We gotta get the serum back to Chris before he literally dies. Like our, uh, our teammate, uh, Richard did. Richard! But on our track back and forth here, um, I'm sure you've noticed by now, we've actually run into a few of the Bravo team members. They were about the same size unit as what Starks or the, um, the Alpha team is, so there's a few members. Did I, already, did I run by the wrong door? Damn it, I did. 
Chris, I'm sorry, buddy. Just hang in there. So we've run into Kenneth Richard. We found four Spayer as well. He was on the balcony. We found Rebecca. So that's like four of the team members, and they're, you know, three of the four are dead. So it's not looking real good for this squad. Run, 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 run. Come on, Chris. Damn, he's fucking sprawled out on the floor. You all right? Yeah. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. <laughs> you Rebecca, if you just saw that life. thing, I mean, maybe you'd understand. All right, cool. So, long story short, we're back in control, of Chris. Now, I'm glad I could help. And I don't have my lighter. Son of a bitch. There's something in that back room that I, I. You know what? I might just come back and get it later, honestly, because at this point, I just want to use the crest and get out of here. So thanks to Rebecca, we're all uh, back to normal. I'm gonna reload my shotgun real quick. And we have one of the crests out. And like I said earlier, I already put one of the crests in the door because with Chris, you really, really, really don't have the space to fuck around. So we're gonna make a track over here to the other side of the mansion to the save room. And I'm gonna grab the crest out and then we're basically gonna be on our way to the guardhouse here. So the mansion visit is as short as lo or as long as you want to make it. Um, I There are a few tasks that, like I said, that you have to do. Essentially, you're finding keys, you're finding these crests. But for the most part, there's only a few puzzles. I mean, there's the shield puzzle. There's the diamond to get the one uh, crest. There's a couple of other minor puzzles to find the shotgun and just some other odds and ends that you need to do. Some running around, kill that plant. That's basically the formula of this game. Now, if you don't like it, which, you know, there are people that just would rather have guns blazing and you're going room to room just stomping fucking guts in and blowing heads off, that's great. But, like, I love this. It, there's enough action here for me to be engaged and also enough of these, like, puzzles that keeps me kind of, you know, guessing at what could be happening next. At this point, I'm going to leave the Beretta, um in this uh, save box for now. And then I'm gonna make the trek outside to the guardhouse. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to get out there. But once we dump all these crests into that, that puzzle, we're gonna have free reign to kind of collect some more items on our way. So we're not done here in the mansion though. As you remember, there's a bunch of keys locked by the helmet key and just some other areas that uh, we can't get into yet. So we will be back. But for now, we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, head outside here. And I'm just gonna ignore this dog again, this stupid fucking mutt. It's just a minor inconvenience. I just, like I said, I really don't fuck with that dog. Just don't mess around out here because he will uh, get aggressive and bite our fucking ass cheeks out and Chris has already been poisoned. I don't think he wants to deal with that shit right now. So one major step of the game is complete. Like I said, these crests are the first big kind of obstacle that we need to get through. Right away, um, there's the stairs. You want to push these over to this wall. There's a little a crank or something up here. Yeah, in the original footage of this game, there's a demo of Resident Evil 1 where you get to this spot once you find the crest, and basically the demo ends with the snake confronting you in this guardhouse. 
So I don't even know how that happens because like there's no entryway for the snake. Oh, I found a small key just by dicking around. That's what I mean by like you just have to press buttons on things at times because you'll just find random like healing items or ammo or just stuff like that. So thankfully we were able to just you know mash packs on that wall and found that. So we're gonna have a few dogs in our way as well. As you can see, these guys are gonna be fucking everywhere out here. We'll find plenty of blue herbs. Um, the dogs seem to not attack you if you're walking. It's almost like the calmer you are, the less they uh, mess with you. Fucking dogs! Ugh. That went bad quick. My fucking gosh. Neither one of those are green herbs, huh? It looks like this one is. No, they're both blue. All right, well, we got to play uh, tiptoe through the fucking garden here because of those stupid fucking dogs. Jill would have died easily in that scenario, which is kind of why I like Chris. So there's this block little path here. Uh, it's filled with water. What we have to do is use this... What is this, this crank or whatever over here? It releases this little levee and we'll get rid of this pole so we can cross the bridge. I know. Look at his CGI graphics from 96, man. Some next level stuff that I fucking hate the dogs! Okay, I don't know why it took me back to my inventory there, but whatever. I usually love dogs. There's one breed that I actually hate a lot, and it's pugs. Um, I lived with a pug for like six to eight years of my life, and I would say out of all scenarios in my life, that was one of the most horrific times just because of how loud those things breathe. That poor thing lives in pain every day of its life, and it, it just it doesn't want to be alive. Luckily, it doesn't attack me like these dogs here in this garden, but I would rather live with rabid zombie dogs than to live with one single pug any day of the week. So, lucky for me, there's a dozen more of these motherfucks. Look at this shit. Their AI is a little bit smarter. Ugh! than the zombie AI. They actually, like, I, the zombies will stumble around and kind of, you know, put themselves out of the way at times. Please be a green herb. Just die! Fuck it, I'm out of here. I'm struggling! Those stupid mutts, I don't get it! Never ever have I played this game and had this much difficulty with those stupid dolls, even in the new remakes. Holy shit, so, whew, let's take a deep breath. Right away in the guardhouse, you're gonna come across this statue. And we're gonna push, I guess they just think I'm, I need stocked up on these blue herbs. There's, there's snakes where you, 
you release the water that I guess can poison damage you or something. Um, they will never hit you as long as you're just holding down the sprint button. So, I mean, if you need the green or the blue herbs there, I mean, whatever, grab them. But I, I don't think ever, ever since playing this game as a child, I've ever been hit by those to be poisoned in this scenario. So, I would recommend just pushing this statue over that hole. There's a plant that will come out and start choking the shit out of you if you don't. So, just, just grab it. But like I mentioned in the guardhouse or the garden area, those blue herbs are plentiful here. We're gonna have a few. Okay. The fuck out of my face. That's why I like the shotgun. You can just decapitate enemies right off the bat. But I really, really, really would like to find an herb because I'm running low on ammunition. And health! And uh, this is a classic Resident Evil moment where basically you're, um... Ooh, small key. Nice. Lovely. So that's, thankfully, that we had that small key from the, uh, the garden area. Now we're going to start collecting some of these books. Um, you'll notice in, in one part of the game there's a... I thought I could push that, maybe not. There's a key in the cup. We'll take it! Wow, we visited one room and we're already loaded back up on stuff. Nothing unusual. Okay, so I guess we can't push that bookshelf. There's probably a zombie in this little bathroom area as well, so we're just gonna have to decapitate him real fast. I'm sorry to his friends and family. Maybe not. Nothing major. Another little tub. What was going on? Everyone was taking fucking baths during this outbreak? Is that like... What the kids were doing? Is that what was fucking hip in 96? Major incidents happening outside. Everyone, run to your bathtubs. Hurry up. And there's another key in the bathtub. Like, these guys are really uh, not responsible with a lot of these, you know, major items to unlock a lot of the, the mission-critical doors here. So, I'm already filled with inventory in one room, which means I need to find a save room fucking ASAP. I do love that little, uh, that theme for that room specifically. It is just the, a, a really good mix of just creepiness. You're, you're wandering through this guardhouse now. You got familiar with that mansion and now all of a sudden we're in this guardhouse and this whole puzzle and mystery and all this stuff starts from scratch. Whoa. Why don't we just put this, so we have two small keys. We'll put this book away. I don't know what that's for yet. Beretta's got nine shells. We still have two mansion keys we need to use. Ooh. Luckily for me, I grabbed a bunch of herbs from the uh, house earlier. Why don't we go ahead and combine them? Turn them into a nice, delicious green herb. Nice. So fun. So there's a first aid spray here. It looks like there's a ammunition on the bottom shelf as well. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the stars team members made it to this point and saw this room as like possibly an area where he could just he or she could store items and feel a little bit safe. And again, I have no ink ribbon, so it's strange to me that they wouldn't put any uh, near the ink ribbon uh, usable slots in this, in this place. So. I'm gonna just deposit this, um, this ammo for this gun. I, I mean, I, I'm really probably not gonna be using the Beretta a whole lot moving forward. So, we're here at the guardhouse. We're gonna rip through this bitch here momentarily. I'm gonna come back with part four shortly. Peace!